So, oh. is Johnny Appleseed a real person or is he a myth? <laughs> Good question. Oh, come on, Julio. I think he's real. You think he's real? And you would be correct. You would be correct. That again, it's uh, I, he's actually it's his 250th birthday. Wow, he's not alive anymore. But 250th birthday as of Thursday, September 26th. I mean, it, it's amazing that so he was born in Massachusetts uh, in 1774, and it's uh, it's amazing his story. He became, uh, well, first of all, his dad uh, was a Revolutionary War hero and served with George Washington. Uh, and that his mother actually passed away right after the Declaration of Independence was signed. And he remarried after the war and he had 10 children. <laughs> so here's John and his half brother, Nathaniel Jr., he, they journeyed west. Uh, started, I guess it was 1792, and they lived as vagabonds. They lived off the land. I mean, you think about this, right? Like, like we know what the country looks like now, but then it was like there's nothing. there was nothing. Yeah. The wilderness, you know, <laughs> New Jersey. You go, it, you go into New Jersey, New York State. I mean, they just a few years earlier, Washington was did a French and, uh, and Indian wars that was uh, going on before the revolution. I mean, it is not something that is taken lightly. But could you imagine? Yeah. I I can't. It'd be tough. So these guys just went and. They, he took with them. They was he worked for an orchard, and he took those skills with them, looking for for opportunity, not to basically start his own orchard, but to start orchards for others. So say to say somebody knock on your door, hey Julio, would you like to have an orchard? This is a great spot. We do this. I'll help you get it started. We'll get it planted. We'll make sure that the deer don't eat it. Um, what do you think? Yeah, and that's and that's what he would do. And that he would get that started. He would make money from that. Um, and that he didn't plant like apples back then, although he did create delicious apples and golden delicious, but they weren't necessarily for eating. Good old Americans. Yeah. It was to drink, drink. to get drunk, <laughs> <laughs> to make cider, basically, an Applejack. And, and, that, <laughs> and what's ironic about that? Is that again that the, there's pictures in storybooks about Johnny Appleseed where you know he looks like a guy that he has a pot on his head and he's got like <laughs> you know raggedy clothes and things like that and but he was actually part of a church that's denomination it was the Church of Swedenborg also known as the New Church and it was a Christian denomination that basically he wouldn't. Her harm, like in, in the, and it was the doctrine of the church forbade its members from harming any of God's creatures. So, Chapman Johnny Appleseed became a animal rights activist, a vegetarian. Um, he he just, you know, he was a nut. <laughs> <laughs> not really, not really. It was hey, I, I admire it, but that helped him get through like Indian territory. The Indians like thought that he was a spiritualist, that he actually had um, this power and that they let him be. Even mosquitoes or rat, even oh, rattlesnakes, <laughs> probably uh, gnats, uh, fungus yeah, gnats, fungus gnats, <laughs> fungus gnats and, yeah. <laughs> and fruit flies he left alone. Yeah. <laughs> and that it, the life of religion is to do good. And that was... Hey, we need more of those people. So, and he led this nomadic lifestyle, planting orchards as he went. And he, and he thought he combined that that it was his path to salvation. And basically, he 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 tried to make it so that when he went to Judgment Day, there would be less things for God to judge him on. So it's like. It's like, all right, John, remember that mosquito? Yes, it died. 
<laughs> you you <laughs> brushed it away, but you killed it. Uh, God, I hope that you're not that specific because I'm in big trouble. <laughs> I saw a lot of insecticides. <laughs> uh, but uh, so he, he, his occupation was basically a nurseryman. Um, and it, it's just a great story that I think kids kids like and they should be should be told about that that how this man went to the wilderness and went through and found people that were on the frontier at that time and helped them to build basically orchards and a, a almost free I mean he would do odd jobs and things just to keep himself going but it was a combination of his faith and his determination and knowledge of orchards and apples that made it possible. So, interesting guy. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy, <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday, Johnny Appleseed. Johnny.